Hello. This is the first time that I've had a chance to say anything today because it's just been crazy. Um, got here a little later than I wanted. Story of my life. <laughs> and then um, got ready for kids. Got ready for math. Two times, of course. And um, I think my intervention group went, went very well. They seem to really be understanding two-digit subtraction and starting with the ones place and then subtracting the tens place. And then we went to a two-digit subtraction domino activity and then I realized, oh crud, it's going to be very tricky for them to choose dominoes that aren't going to give them a regrouping situation. So I decided to put certain numbers as what they're taking away and then they got to choose one domino to be what they're taking from. And then they had to choose. They had to kind of strategize a little bit and figure out, well, if I put this number here, is it going to work? So they got to choose which little set of dominoes that they put it in. Let me show you the page. It was this page that I had kind of tweaked. It had been a two-digit addition page. Now it's a subtraction. So it's because there is no way to sort dominoes where they won't have too big a number on top or not, not a big enough number on top to subtract. So I just said, okay, so we did like a zero, a six, a four, a three, a one, and a two, I think. And I said, okay, whenever you go to pick your domino, you need to make sure that whatever number you get, you write it in a box that you can actually subtract that number from it, that this number's bigger. The top number here has to be bigger than this number here. And they're like, oh, okay, and they totally got it. So. They didn't get to do very much of their page and they were kind of disappointed. I said, oh, we always run out of time, don't we? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, we could do it tomorrow. I said, oh, yeah. I, oh, wait, tomorrow's Friday. And we, wait, we don't have school tomorrow? I said, no, we have school, but we don't have power hour because remember Fridays are shorter because it's early out day. Oh, yeah. I said, maybe we can do it again on Monday. And they're like, okay. So they are good with it. So maybe we'll do it again on Monday. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I'll have to think on it over the weekend, if I remember, <laughs> if I'm thinking about math over the weekend. We have a wedding to go to, which I mentioned earlier, which is um, a boy that my daughter grew up with, and he's just a few years older, so he's probably, like I said, probably 19, very young still, but marrying a very sweet girl from a good family, and I know her family too, so that's pretty cool, and got my flu shot, let me see my fancy band-aid there, fancy band-aid. I had forgotten because they said the 12th will be flu shots. Blah. The 12th will be flu shots. And I was thinking today's Thursday. I wasn't thinking the 12th. <laughs> and so one of my um, first grade teacher pals said, did you get your flu shot? And I went, what? Because I did not, it didn't process what she had just said to me because I was thinking, I was coming down the hallway and I was thinking about something. And I went, what? And she goes, did you get your flu shot? And I went, oh, I forgot. That's today. Oh, who? And she's like, you need your card. And I'm like, okay. So I went and got my insurance card because we seem to change insurance card companies every year. <laughs> so I had my card in my little bag. So I took it upstairs with me. And it was like two, three minutes it was over. So it was really good. Just had to fill out a little form that said, you know, have you ever had an allergic reaction to any of these kind of things? Have you ever had trouble with a reaction to a flu shot before? Do you have any sickness right now? Do you have a fever? And do you have any kind of like neurological illness? <laughs> That's a loaded question. And um, do you have like Yon Barre syndrome? Because obviously those people cannot get the flu shot because there's something in it that would trigger something. And then I just had to sign a little paper when I got over to the, no, right before I went over to the shop people. And then they just punched in a couple things and stabbed me and off I went. So I wasn't sure which arm I should do it in. I have heard people say, do it in the arm you're going to move because that'll help it feel better because it gets really sore sometimes. So I asked the nurse, I said, well, which, should I do my dominant arm or my non-dominant? She goes, well, a lot of people like to put it in the arm they move most. And I went, let's do this one then because this one's the one that's going to be doing more things. This is my grabbing the kid arm, punching them out. No, of course not. This is my writing arm though. So it'll get more of a workout. I'm amassing quite a pile back here on my counter. Let me see if I can show you. Look at that mess that's happening. I am not enjoying this mess. I don't like the mess. But honestly, with all the math that we're doing, and I'm having to keep track of all of my intervention like partners stuff, because she's not a classroom teacher. So let me see if I can get this to stand up more. Well, maybe not. Here we go. 
I'm keeping her class set of things for each day, and I'm keeping my class set of things for each day just for Power Hour Intervention Group. Then I'm also having to have my materials out for my regular math lesson. Then I'm having to have materials out for the rest of the stuff, which I have those drawers over there, and I kind of got used to not using them when I was on my scooter because it was too hard to get through the kids to get to that over there. And so I just probably need to just start using that again or maybe move it over here. I don't know. I don't really know where to put it over here, so it's probably not a good idea. I haven't eaten anything again today. I'm just, I've gotten into a bad habit of not eating anything like all day long. And then I'm just like glazed over space case. And then you're a little more irritable with the kids, which I'm trying not to, if I get, if I feel grouchy or whatever, I try not to take it out on the kids because it's not their fault. So I kind of just, Honestly, when you're in the midst of teaching something, everything else just kind of goes away and you don't think about how cruddy you feel and you don't think about how tired you are and all that kind of stuff because you're not thinking about that. You're focused on your teaching. And so that really helps. It helps get you through the day. But I... Hold on a second. Hi. There was uh, one of my first grade teacher friends at the door and that's why I need to go talk to her. I can't remember what she asked me now because it's been, it's been a little bit since I was on the camera. I've moved the camera so I can show you my crazy hair. Um, show you my outfit because I'm finally getting to do that. It's lunchtime. I took my kids to library and then I took them to lunch when library was over and got them situated there. Got some ice for my water so I can have some water this afternoon. And I'll show you what I'm wearing. I've got a tank dress from Old Navy on with the little cutouts, which you won't be able to see because I've got a sweater on over it because it's gold. I've got like a Cardi wrap thing from Maurice's. I've worn these two things before and earrings from Cato. There's a necklace that matches, but since I'm wearing a scarf, didn't need the necklace. I think the scarf probably came from Maurice's or Target, one of the two. Um, the bracelets came from Cato. You know what? I think these are Dress Barn, actually. Yeah, I think the necklace, earrings, and the bracelets came from Dress Barn. And I've got my Pineapple Alex and Annie bracelet, and I've got a chameleon ring with a little kind of a silvery pearlish type thing in the middle, and I'm wearing have to show you my sandals because I think they'll be too hard for me to maneuver and get them off and not fall over and hurt myself. So <laughs> I'm not feeling very graceful today. So let me back up and show you what I'm wearing. All right, maybe I will take my shoe off just because I just feel like it's easier. I think I've worn these before too. These came from Walmart at one point in my life. <clears throat> the only things that are anywhere near being newish is uh, the only thing is the dress I got this over the summer from Old Navy and this of course I got for my birthday. Everything else I've had for a while so I'm sure they don't have these particular things anymore but whatever. <sighs> okay I'm gonna go eat my lunch and I'll check with you in a little bit. This is what I brought for lunch. I made a new batch of my version of chicken salad. It's just canned chicken that's been drained and chunked up and um, pickle relish. I don't put any mayonnaise or Miracle Whip in it. I just like it like this. And I like to scoop it onto these pretzel crisps that are really yummy. These are the Parmesan kind. I'll show you again a little slower. I just get them at Walmart. And then I have some grapes that I can snack on. Got my water. Got iced coffee still that I can drink if I want to. I still have, I have emergency pop tarts back here in case I need to take medicine at some point in my life. I still haven't filled out my, oh, my injury report, which is going to become an, a mess because it's laying on my desk, which is a danger zone. And it looks like there's crayon on it, and I don't have any red crayon on my desk. So who knows where that came from? Let me move it over a little more safe. I've been using my little glittery scepter thingy to point out the pineapple passwords and the word family words when the kids come in the classroom at the beginning of the day. So that's been really fun using that for my pointer. I got that at Dollar General, I think, pretty sure, sometime over the summer. I feel like a scattered goober today. Really super tired. I just didn't sleep very well and things woke me up in the night and I couldn't go back to sleep and story of my life so I'm hoping that this weekend I can get more sleep man that sun is really bright on my face Let's see if I can get the thing situated better that's a little better that's better the sun is out for once which is nice it started out kind of rainy and gloomy and gross and now it's becoming pretty let me see what the temperature is supposed to be today I think it's supposed to be 
still kind of cool. Check on my phone here. So it's the high today is 73, but right now it's only 57. It's going to be a chilly recess. Of course, we don't have recess for another two hours, so it can warm up quite a bit in two hours. But then, get this. So yesterday's high got to like 60-something, like 64 or something like that. Today's high is supposed to be 73. Okay, this is Missouri weather. This is typical October weather for Missouri. This is fall. Tomorrow high of 87. 87. Now y'all know why I'm not pulling up my boots yet. Because I have, I'm just going to switch over from like summer to fall and winter. And I don't want to be in between. So I'm just hanging on until I can just be consistently wearing fall stuff. So 87 tomorrow on Friday and 88 on Saturday. And the poor kids that are getting married on Saturday were, they picked October because they wanted a fall cooler wedding. And it's going to be like blazing outside. You never know. And then Sunday, 63. So it's going to drop like 25 degrees from one day to the next. Crazy. And then it looks like next week during school, it'll be in the low 70s. So it's more fall temperature. But these 87 and 88 degree days are cray cray. Like, ugh. Oh my goodness. Today's math lesson. I don't remember if I mentioned that earlier. I'm sorry if I'm making a lot of noise. I've got to eat some today because... It's not been a good thing. So I'm just going to get a little bit deep right here. <clears throat> Today's math lesson was make a 10 to add, which in theory sounds great. And we even used our little counters, but I didn't have actual 10 frames for them. I couldn't find them because I don't know where they are, honestly, because I used them last year and I don't know where I put them when I was on my scooter because I probably didn't put them back where they belonged. And actually they're probably in one of my math boxes which is in my closet because I didn't use Go Math last year, so I didn't go in the same order. So I wouldn't have used my 10 frames at the same point in the year as I am now. So they're probably in a box for like place value, which we're not doing yet, which is like in my closet behind stuff and I just cannot get to it right now. I just, I could if I wanted to pull a lot of stuff out of the way first, which I don't want to do. So I brought these. I showed these in my fun fall finds video from Dollar Tree. There's skeleton, skulls, skulls, and pumpkins. I have six or eight of these from Walmart from last year. I saw them when I was going through my stuff in the summer to set up my room. And I thought that I, that I had put them in the first grade closet in my stuff. And I looked and I couldn't find them. Then I looked in my closet closet, in my classroom, and I just went, I don't see where they would be. They've got to be in a box. I have 17 of these. Because I was counting on finding the other ones. I don't really want them to partner up on this, because I think they each individually need to be manipulating the things themselves. So, the lesson today was making a 10 to add. Yesterday... On their paper, their whole 10 frame was filled up with red counters and then any extra. So if the problem was 10 plus 7, you'd have all 10 of your little circles red on your paper 10 frame. Then you would put, you would draw um, seven yellows. So you draw, you know, five here and then two, well, five here and two here, whatever, underneath, five and two. And then you go, oh, 10 plus 7 is however much it is, 17. So then today... They're like, okay, we're going to use that, but we're going to combine the numbers. So now, instead of 10 of something, you might have 9 plus 6. So then you'd have 9 in your 10 frame, so there's an extra spot. So then you'd move one of your yellows up there to make a 10. Then you've got 10 plus 6 instead of 9 plus 7, or whatever I told you. And then they're supposed to see it that way. Ah! We did, I didn't, I don't have enough counters for the whole class to have 20 counters, for one thing. That's kind of a problem. We really need to get another canister of counters for every classroom because if you're going to give you need to give 20 counters out to every kid because we do eventually add to 20 not just 10 so i had little baggies of 10 but i went oh crud they need 20 counters now and i don't have enough for everybody so then i went and grabbed towers of stacking cubes the linking cubes like in a fix cubes and gave them a stack of those and said pretend like these are your yellows like whatever color you have doesn't matter these are going to be your extras your other add-in Okay, these should be the yellow ones that you put on your paper. That messed them up. That's my fault. 
I don't know what to do about that. So I decided that tomorrow we're having another lesson to show how to use the make a 10 strategy to add. So we're going to use candy corn because I do have little bags of candy corn and I was going to use those little things yesterday with the erasers and I just went, oh, that's not going to work because I don't have enough of them and I didn't get a chance to go to Dollar Tree. So today after school, we're going to go to the Super Center. Maybe they'll have some of the pumpkin ones. Those are just silicone ice trays is all they are. But there are 10 spots. With the... So that's perfect for math for a 10 frame stuff and place value. So I already texted my daughter so she had a heads up that we're going to go to Walmart. So she gets her mind wrapped around it and isn't grouchy with me. At the end of the day, when I say we need to go to the Super Center, she goes, oh, and has, you know, a little teenager issue. So she's super tired. I'm super tired, but I got to do what I got to do. I also need to get a few things for our smoothies tomorrow. I need to get some banana. Sorry, I'm watching the time. And some uh, pineapple. I've got time. And I need to get whole milk for my mad science lesson, if I get to it. I'm not even going to tell the kids because who knows if that'll even happen now. Ugh. So i got to throw in that smoothie thing sometime. That's going to have to be, it's going to be after lunch because all my like teaching, teaching is done by then pretty much. And we just, we're going to have to do our writing then. I was, I don't know what I'm going to do. I may just have to push my how to cover pumpkin writing to next week. I think that'll work out better. We can start on it today, maybe finish it on Monday. That'd be good because we didn't get a start it yesterday. My plan was to do two days of that. And basically we would just write it together so they can see the whole thing from start to finish. And then the next one we do will be, I don't know yet, something else Halloween-y probably. And then I'll have them write their own because I need to start testing next week. <sighs> like it's just disappearing on me. This month is just shoop, and the end of the quarter is coming and I don't feel ready. I don't feel like I've taught them anything, honestly. I really don't. I have. I know I haven't been doing nothing every day, but I feel like I'm not making much forward progress because I feel like we're always one step forward, two steps back. So, I don't know. I'm doing the best I can. That's all I can do, but it feels like it's not good enough. My best doesn't feel like it's good enough right now. So I need to figure that out. All right, I'm just going to put my lunch away because I have myself a little snack. And that'll be good enough to tide me over till later. I, could, I think I'm just going to kind of pick up my lunch today. Because I'm not super hungry, but I feel like I need to eat a little something just to keep me going. I've still got pumpkin bars in my fridge as a treat. <clears throat> that was enough for now, I think. I had about four, four pretzel crisps, probably. I had to really stress emphatically level zero you need to stop talking when I'm talking you're not when these are on these are off so it's just hard it's hard I'm gonna have to I think I say this every day over the weekend I'm gonna have to think about revamping whatever I feel like I need to reorganize my entire world at school because it's just not working I don't know if it's the way I've laid out my day, subject-wise, or if it's what we're doing for each subject, sometimes, like, I know math is difficult. I personally don't like to teach math whole group. I don't mind doing a mini lesson whole group, which is what I've been trying to do. Is a, The hands-on part of our lesson is like a mini lesson, really. But then we go into doing like the worksheets together and that isn't working so well because I, I do walk around and monitor, make sure, oh, please write that. Oh, make sure that's the right answer or whatever it is. What's this plus this? But, but with 20 of them, I think it might be better if I split them in half somehow, but I have not exactly figured out how to do that and make it work in the same amount of time. I'm wondering if this would work. If I, since I'm going from like nine to, t basically nine to 10, 20, so almost an hour and a half. If I split it into like 40 minutes and 40 minutes and went, maybe I, or maybe, maybe um, mini lesson 10 minutes-ish, because you don't want to do a, it's not a mini lesson, but it's more than 10 minutes. <laughs> it's a full-fledged lesson. 10 minutes is about probably all they can handle anyway. 
and me. Ooh, I need to go get my kids. Yeah. Okay, what I was thinking was, if I split the class in 10 and 10, and did um, a mini lesson with the whole group, and we did the hands-on thing. Then I split half of the class to go play the math game first. See, they're gonna have to be super quiet, and that's just not working so well. So we're gonna have to figure that out. But if they can play their math game really super quiet, play that, they'll do that first. And then I'll do a lesson, less, the lesson with the other 10, like down on the rug. And I can be down by them. They'll be closer to me. So since, since there will only be 10 kids, they'll be down closer to me. And the rest of the kids would be working at desks and the table. So they'll be off the floor. So no nonsense of flopping around and mixing up your stuff and whatever. Because I can have eight at the desks. Well, there's like most of them there and then two at the table that would be great so then they're contained doing their game and i'll pick the partners thank you very much and they may they'll probably switch around every day so then i'll have the other 10 on the floor with me doing their pages together and then we'll switch part way through i think that might work really well we'll try that try that monday be new math monday Woo! have them buy into that okay i better go grab my kids from lunch and I'll talk to you later. What'd you get, man? At that. Yeah, I was told. Oh, come on. Yeah. Good luck. Good it's luck. What'd you get, babe? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. With. I'm scared. With. I can get it. I see it. It's like it's a small thing. Look. Yay. What are words? Okay, you. Nope. Sit. Okay. I no more looking into the thing. Just grab. There you go. On. 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 Right. I can see it going. Shh. Ah. Don't Alright, throw them all back, friend. Don't go on the one. Let me put his back, okay? Let me put his back. Don't go on the one. Sad, sad, sad. Alright. Yay, can I do it again? Yes. Okay, count up your cards, friend. One, two, three, four. Zero. Zero. <laughs> That's easy. Oh, so I got four. I got four. 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 I think I'm going to get this done. Four. Four. Perfect. Everybody's got four sets of ten. Four? Four. Zero. Four? Four. Zero. Four. 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 All right. Throw them back in there, please. Great job. I can't wait. Grab a tree. I said it was positive. You still get candy, though. Yes. What would you like? Give me it. Oh, he doesn't get candy. Did you get candy? Did you get what you wanted? Back in there. Hey, so good candy. All right. You're on a roll, man. Look at that. Old. That's awesome, Brady. Look, 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 look how fast I'm doing this. I got so good candy. Yeah. Okay, go back to your work, sweet. I don't want to get candy. I can Yeah, that was not a nice thing to say. You're probably like, what? That's not nice at all. All right, what'd you get, babe? Wait, Ooh, those are good. The gummies. Yeah, the gummies. I was like, why did you see that? Oh, I want to get gummies. Oh, 
I'm getting a one. Oh. I got Zoinks. <laughs> I got Zoinks. Zoinks. <laughs> All right, Zoinks. You got Zoinks. Oh, no. Yeah, throw them all back in there. Mr. Zoinkers. Okay, mix them around. Well, you're in good company. Your partner here. We I got get to have one. All right, you get to get one. Redeem yourself. Don't get Zoinks. No Zoinkies. I'm not going to do any Zoinkies. Ah! Yay. Yay, no Zoinkies. No Zoinks. Win. Yourself, I got win! Okay, I'm gonna mix them up. <gasps> it's Do I like dogs? Yeah. Oh, oh, throw them back in there. Are we gonna do another one? Just like me, Kaden. Oh, hey, little buddy. I right. said no. Oh, wait, she got look. Honey, let her say it. Okay, do another one. Because you keep getting your turn taken. Here you go. Right, okay, count your cards, friends. I'm like you. One. That's easy. How many do you have, sir? How many do you have? Zero. How many do you have? One. How many do you have? Four. How many do you have? Zero. How many do you have? Four. How many do you have? Four. How many do you have? I will help you in a minute. Did you get your treat? Okay. All right. Everybody get rid. Kaden, me, and Zachary. Did I help you, Kaden? We did not. Well, no fail. Well, we don't get Kaden. So I have to be the answer. Last time I had. Oh, Griffith's doing that. I don't see my boy. They're probably hiding in there, sneaking around in there, waiting to bounce at you. Yet. Is that what you said? Did he get one? He will get one. He hasn't got one yet. Maybe that's good, but he won't get one. I'm going to join the boy. Choose. I will. Choose. Oh, fun, Katie. Okay, you can go back to your work spot, sis. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm like an iPad thief now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're like, um, can I have an iPad, please? <laughs> like, well, okay. <laughs> sure. What looks good? Hmm. Pretty much everything, right? Okay. Okay. You didn't know. Yeah. I'm making a picture so many choices, so little time. Uh, this oh, it looks so good. I know, right? I'll tell you though, I don't think I have any more gummies, but I have lots and lots of Rolos. So if you're having a hard time picking, this one. Oh, those are some of my favorites. Like dogs. Oh, it looks like most people do. I fell asleep. Let's let her. I can't believe she's sleeping through all this. Let's just let her rest. You call me a stooge. 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 <laughs>
So it doesn't wiggle so much. There you go. Try that. Oh, look at that. What'd you get? Nothing. You got a line? Yeah, just get the closest thing to the line. That'll be right. Woo, that's a good one. What's that? Look. Alright, let's give it to your little friend over here. Do you want to keep spinning or do you just want to write in? Just write in. You can keep spinning if you want to. You still have another five minutes. I got it. Okay. Got it. Oh, you're forging names too, are you? <laughs> we're gonna have a little forgery operation going on in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? Can you get me the nurse clipboard and I'll write you a pass to get shoes? I won! You won! Sweet! I think you both won. It was a tie. Yeah. I called them Bray. 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 No, mine went on the top. Hi. It's the end of the day. It is a little after three. I've gotten everybody situated where they need to go. Um, one of my friends filled up their card just as we were leaving because as I was dismissing the early buses, the late bus riders were sitting so perfectly on the rug. It was amazing. And I could not let that opportunity go by because I have been really on them about when you're on the rug, you're sitting quietly, you're waiting to be called, you have to be quiet, blah, 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 blah. Because I'm not going to yell over you. I need you to be really respectful and listen because it's crazy time and we don't need to make it worse. <clears throat> so there were six of them, I believe, on the rug. And when I turned around, I said, oh my goodness, I thought you had left. You were so quiet. And they just went, it was all of our idea. And I was like, oh. So that was amazing. So I gave all of them a sticker for their super improvers card. And there are nine out of my 20 that have flipped over to the green card now. They're on their second card. And they've also gotten their brag tag for finishing the first card. So I better get that green brag tag made this weekend and probably get the next couple of cards made this weekend so I can be ahead a little bit. Because I don't have anything past, I don't think I have anything past the green card. Let me check real fast. Oh, wait. I think I just did the white and the green in my little bag here. Can't get it open now. Yep, just the white and the green. So, so right there going. They're doing really well. I need to make sure that I'm not doing too much because I don't want them to go too fast and then be like, oh, I'm done. I don't have to do it anymore. I don't have to be behave or whatever. I haven't really been giving up rag tags because honestly, I kind of forgot about them because they're kind of up there. And now I've got a box in front of there because I don't know where to put it right now. That's kind of what happens when you end up getting a lot of new things. Like we got those 10 boxes of things in which I thought I was going to get rid of like a lot of it. And I looked through it and I'm like, oh, I can use this. I can use this. I showed you that journal that we got that's blank inside. So they're going to use that for free writing time. I thought, yeah. They've already, they've already got these. Might as well use them. So there are like, I don't even know, like 70 of them or something. So I've got enough for at least two years. And there might be enough for three years if I only have 20 students. I think there might even be 80 of them. I don't know. There's a lot. <laughs> a lot. There were like, there were yellow ones, there were red ones, and there were purple. Yeah, I think I showed you those the other day. So they got them, I think I gave them out yesterday, and they were super excited. And on the front, there's a little white spot right in the middle of the cover, and they're like, what are we going to do there? We're going to make a picture? I said, oh, what about me printing out your pictures that I took of you in the fire truck? And you can put that on the front, and you'll have your picture on your book. And they're like, oh, yeah. So I think I'll probably print those out at home, because I think it'll be easier. I'll probably just, I need to take home, well, maybe I'll just do it here. I don't know. I never seem to get anything done here, really. Because honestly, I could be doing something right now, but I'm just so from the day because today was so loud. I mean, look, one of the pairs came and said, the lunchroom 
was so loud today. The second graders had their hand, fingers in their ears because it was too loud for them. I don't know what was going on, but it was super crazy loud. <clears throat> and my class today was super crazy loud, but we keep having the weird weather fluctuations. Like it's warm, it's cold, it's warm, it's cold, it's warm, it's cold. I'm sure where that fuzz is coming from. Something is in the way of the camera. I'm not sure what it is. So let me see if I can figure out what's going on. I don't know. I think it's the glare from the sun, actually. So I don't know. Probably done something weird. I'll try to fix it. That's better. Somehow I'd shrunk in the screen down. I don't know. It's still glary for me. I hope it's not glary on this screen. That's a little better for me. But then there's like fuzzy down here. I don't know what's up with that. I think that's just some glare. You know, I'm going to eat some more of my lunch while I'm figuring out my life for tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's going to be Freaky Friday. Kind of going with the theme here. I'll have to think of what today was. I'll come up with something when I edit tonight. So tomorrow's deal. No, not tomorrow's deal. We'll deal with tomorrow tomorrow. I've got everything ready for it. I'm hoping that I can do some mad science. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to do the color changing milk thing where I got it from Mr. Greg's mad science like bundle set thing. He has like 15 different experiments. And so I'm going to probably do like one a month. And we didn't even start writing about how to carve a pumpkin. So I'm just going to push it off till Monday. It'll be fine. We did do our pumpkin life cycle. Let me go get that and show you how it turned out. Okay. So here's the little life cycle of the pumpkin. I really simplified it because I wanted it to be easy. Because we only have about 30 minutes to do anything sciencey. So yesterday we had read the um, scholastic science spin about pumpkins. About how to grow them. And it had a thing about the life cycle. And it showed the pictures in color. So then I found, this is that thing from Lita Lita that I showed you the other day, or yesterday, I don't know, sometime this week. Um, and it has the different phases of the life cycle all the way through. So, there it is. So it starts with the seed and then it just continues on. So I made an example so they could see it. I think I need to... Maybe just tape that down or something because it's really driving me crazy. So I have the example on the board. Sorry, extreme close-up. Where they could look at it. And even after giving directions saying, we want to make this as realistic as possible. We want to make it as realistic as possible. I had someone make their pumpkin top yellow, green, and orange. And I went, that's beautiful, but what does the pumpkin look like? And he's like... Um, I said, remember what I asked you to color it? And he goes, um, I said, he goes, orange. I went, mm-hmm. Would you like me to get a new page? He goes, mm-hmm. I said, okay, that'd be great. Because it's not that I'm being super picky about things. It's not that at all. I'm not one of those people that, you can't have a purple cow. You can't have a blue whatever. That is not what it is. It's following directions. That's the thing. That's why I ask them to color things a certain way. Because they're following directions. There are plenty of times where I tell them, this thing here, whatever it is, you can color it whatever color you want. That's up to you. But there are times where I'm like, this needs to be this color. This needs to be this color. Or you need to cut it this way. Like, obviously, you can't just cut this however you want. You have to cut it so it works. And I also show them where to glue it. You have to glue it in the middle so you don't glue down the flaps. I mean, there are reasons for the directions. But that is a big thing that kids need to learn. They need to learn to listen, put it in their brain, and follow what they've been told on how to do something. Because following directions is something that a lot of kids aren't able to do because they haven't been trained to do it. And so I'll be darned if my class is going to go through the entire first grade year not learning how to listen and follow directions. So I'm not mean about it, but I am strict about it, and I'll say, oh, is that the color it's supposed to be? And they're like, um, no. I said, were you listening? They're like, um, I'm like, I don't know. I said, maybe you need to listen a little more carefully next time. But this time you want to get a new page and try again? And they're like, yeah. So we're really working on following directions. Because when they take those tests, they have to listen to the directions. And if they don't follow the directions for the testing, they mess it up and they get horrible scores. I mean, there's later on in life, not following directions can really be a problem. Like, 
following the laws of the country are following directions like you can't go over a certain speed if you don't want a speeding ticket and things like that so it's an important life skill to listen and follow directions if your boss tells you to do something a certain way and you do it a different way you might be in trouble with your boss you might not have a job depending on how often that happens so kind of an important skill to have so I'm really trying to foster that with little things little no stakes things that are not going to affect their lives really at all so but hopefully I mean as far as detrimental effects if they color their if they color their pumpkin top purple they're not going to get some horrible illness and die from it but they are going to be asked to fix it and make it right because they need to follow directions my little guy that I showed you earlier, so proud of him. He finished his writing. He kept telling me, I think I can finish this before recess. I think, I think maybe I'll just have to miss a few minutes of recess. I said, oh, I don't think you're going to need to miss any minutes of recess, friend. Let's get that done. Get her done. Get her done, man. You can do it. Come on. I was his cheerleader. That's why I had him sit right next to me at the reading table as I was doing our game today, our phonics game. Actually, it was a sight word game, which, I mean, they had to use their sounds to figure out some of the words. So I guess that was phonics. But it was mostly sight words. These are sight words they should know. So that's a game that I made myself. I just found some Scooby-Doo graphics somewhere on the internet, probably, and slapped them on my computer for one side of a card. And I printed them on green cardstock. I didn't even laminate them. I mean, honestly, we don't. It's not a game that I put out for the kids to do on their own. It's one that I supervise, so then I know they're not... You know, kids, they can ruin a game in one play. <laughs> they can't. Because some kids are just like very, like they bend everything. So I'm really floppy off with my bracelet today. So it's just cardstock, green cardstock. And then I'm, you know, printed on one side the Scooby-Doo figure. And then on the back side, I put a funny looking font. Because I kind of thought it went along with the Scooby-Doo zoinks. They're scared kind of thing. It looked kind of freaky. So it's played like... I don't know, BAM and SPLAT and whatever else. I've got a SPLAT game, too, where it's like, so that's in a bucket, too. The bucket that I had, I'm not sure if I filmed. I think you'll see it on the on the video. Um, those are just the McDonald's Happy Meal buckets that come out at this time of year. It's one of, like, the, the Halloween trick-or-treat buckets that you get the Happy Meal in. I've got a Mr. Potato Head one, too, which I'd like to make a potato game. I think we'll probably call it Spud or something. Um, or maybe Mash. I don't know, Mash the Potato. Something silly. And uh, I'll just do the same thing with it, put words on it that they need to know and practice. It's just a fun way for them to practice words. Since I try to run everybody through in about 45 minutes, I don't really get to spend a lot of time with each group. So they only get to do four or five words a piece, but they do hear the other words. And we do do the, do do, nice. We also do the spinner, the fidget spinner fluency. We do the pink sight word book. I don't know if I showed you that or not. Every day in reading groups. So they're on list five right now. We've, we're reading one through five. So they're reading 50 words a day because there are 10 on each list. So the more they see it, the better they get in their brain. Plus they're also having to read the pineapple passwords outside the classroom every day. And we work on those five words. I keep doing those five words. Um, some, some way in our spelling time right after rest and read so they're getting practice on that every day so hopefully they will stick and i love it i love it when the light bulbs start to and we're reading in reading groups and they'll go oh and i'll go what and they'll go that's one of our words we know that word i'm like yes yes i said that's why we're working on those words and they're like oh oh i mean it's like it all starts to make sense now like Mrs. Bond isn't just giving us five random words every week just to give us something to do. No, these are words you need to know so you can read books and understand what's going on in life. Yes, there is a method to my madness. So it's really, it's really exciting when you see that happen. It takes a few weeks because they, it takes a while to catch on. But after they, because they haven't learned very many words at that point with you. They've learned words in kindergarten, but not with you. And when they start realizing that like today during the Zoinks game, a kid would go, some. <gasps> That's a word this week. I'm like, yeah. Because the cool thing is we had just done our spelling game before they came over to play the game. 
So they've been practicing those five words. Today was the spinner game. I just realized though, I need to switch which day I do the spinner game, which, which, really, I need to switch which day I do the spinner game and which day I do the uh, foundations box spelling because I have to really be careful who I call over to the table for the game on Thursday so I don't pull a partner away and the person the other person can't play anymore. So in order to avoid that, I'll just switch the day because I don't do that on Wednesdays. I do the game only on Thursdays. So if I do an independent spelling activity on Thursdays, it won't be a problem. So I need to just switch those. So I'll have to switch those on my lesson plan so I'll remember. Because I always put them in that order in my little drawer, my little target drawers over there. So that'll help me out. It's 322. Time's just uh, slipping into the future. I need to run to the Super Center tonight and get, see if I can find some more of those um, pumpkin silicone ice trays. Because I only need three more to have enough for this class to do the 10 frame thing on their own with the candy corn. So, or the uh, erasers, whichever I decide to use, whatever. I think they'd probably really enjoy the candy corn personally. Or maybe I can get, it might be better to do some of the pumpkins, the candy pumpkins. I think I need a little lipstick right there. <laughs> I think I've talked it off. Anyway, um, yeah, and I need to get some whole milk for my milk experiment because I still already have, I think all I need is whole milk, pie pans, eyedroppers, which I got from Amazon, which are right here. <laughs> got these yesterday. And mm, food coloring, which I have in the snack area. Yeah. We have ice cream for the smoothies. I think basically our smoothies are going to be like I'll have the milk. Ooh, I'll have milk left over from the milk experiment. So I can use that in the smoothies because we'll do that after lunch. We'll do the milk, milk, the milk experiment before lunch. I'm looking at my lesson plans. Every time I look over that way, it's my lesson plan. Sorry. And then I'll have some left over to put in the smoothie thing, which will basically be. There's some people outside in the hallway that are freaking me out. <laughs> See the principal and someone else. I don't know who it is. Anyway. As I was saying, I think I'll be able to use the milk in the ice cream to make it more of a shake texture and then throw the fruit in there. Oh, I think some people are meeting with my friend over there. I guess. I don't know. It's not me. I'm good. Anyway, <clears throat> that's what's happening in my world. Tonight at home, more leftover pasta and meatballs. Yay, because my husband didn't have that last night and neither did I. I just had, honestly... I didn't eat very well at all yesterday. Just wasn't in the mood and I wasn't really hungry. And so I just ate some of that pub mix that you can get at Walmart in the clear tube thing. It was like pretzels and those little like pumpernickel crisps and junk basically. It was like chip type stuff. Real smooth. Just a little. I had just like half a bowl full or something and some water and a little bit of chamomile tea. So I just wasn't in the mood for food. So, you know, after a while, you kind of get used to not eating, and then you're just really not that hungry. It's just kind of a vicious cycle. So, no wonder I don't have any energy. Hmm. Probably should get some actual food when I go to Walmart tonight, like fresh fruit. That would be good. So, yep, that's my plan. Tonight, my goal is to make some kind of lesson plans, at least some Oh, crud. I gotta get my newsletter made. Those need to go out tomorrow. I'm really behind the times today. Hmm. Yes, I'll make my newsletter, which will basically be my lesson plans, and then I'll be able to figure out what I need to copy, because I don't want to put myself in that situation again where I have to make a bajillion copies on Monday. That's not a pleasant experience, especially since my daughter doesn't seem to get her hiner out of bed early enough for us to get here, so I have time to do something before the kids come and take over my life. So, and I, so I'm sitting here I don't remember what I just said because the bus thing came on and I forgot what I was talking about. So I don't even know. <laughs> Sorry about that. Went out of my head. I'm eating some more of my lunch stuff that I didn't eat earlier because I'm a little bit hungry now. And I'm looking on Pinterest for like Halloween 10 frames and stuff so I can use it for tomorrow if I need to. I'm not having much luck. So now I'm looking on Teachers Pay Teachers. Well, that was a bummer. I finally got the thing to download and it was it was really cute but it already had the numbers on it like it it was made for kindergarten where they're supposed to show however many on a 10 frame so 
back to the drawing board on that one. I'm hoping I can just find the little silicone trays and call it good. There, I can go to the super center and see if they have the pumpkin ones. That's where I got a whole bunch of them last year, which I can't find. Don't you hate it when you know you have something, like you're positive you have something. You've even seen it recently, but you can't for the life of you figure out where you put it. Like, I don't want to tear my closet apart. I really don't. I'd honestly rather just go buy like three or four more. It'd be easier for me, to be, to be completely honest. <laughs> easier than trying to tear everything apart. I think I will begin my process of winding out of the classroom with all of my things. This hair right here is just becoming a problem for me today. Not as bad as it was that one day. That was driving me bananas in a crazy, crazy way. Tomorrow will be trampoline day because that's what trampoline is. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I don't know. It'll be spelling test, trampoline, smoothie, mixed up snack. They're super excited for that whatever. I told the kids that tomorrow would be mixed up snack day, like mishmash snack. And they're super excited because we haven't done it yet because I've had enough of everything to just go. Let's just have this. The late buses are loading. Woo! All the little squirmy worms are leaving. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to take my coffee thing home. So, my kids are super excited about Mishmash Snack Day tomorrow because we haven't had one yet. I told them when we get to a point where we just have little bits of everything, we'll have Mishmash Day. That reminds me. They don't know this yet. I have not said. I've learned to keep my mouth zipped and keep all the secrets up here because sometimes things don't work out and then everybody is so terribly disappointed. I always do monster cereal snack, mixed up monster snack. I do Frankenberry, Count Chocolate, and Blueberry. So I need to get those because this is the time of year you got to pick them up because, you know, it's Halloween time. Mm. So I just, it's really good. It's like a trail mix, but with cereal. Throw it all in, I'll have my green bowl over here. I'll have this big green bowl. I don't, I'll probably put them in these. These are so cute, aren't they? These were like trick-or-treat pails some year. They're stuck together really badly. I, go. I don't know if they came from, I think they came from Target. They're from the, probably from the dollar spot Target because they have a dollar thing on. They had these one year. These were super cute. And I love the monster stuff. The monster aspect of Halloween. Not the scary monster, but the cute. Like, that's cute. That's a cute monster. You've got to admit that's cute. So we do monsters, spiders, bats, pumpkins. That's about where I leave it. Sometimes owls. I didn't really have time for owls. I haven't done any of those things yet. And it's like October 12th today. So it may just need to run into... November because November is all Thanksgiving which is good but you don't have to do an entire month of Thanksgiving like three weeks of Thanksgiving would be a bit much I think so I need if I'm gonna get any of this in it's gonna need to be next week I have not told them anything so yes I said snack back to snack um we're gonna have mishmash snack tomorrow because we've got little bits of fruit snacks left little bits of like muddy buddies which are like the puppy chow things so we've got little bits of Halloween pretzel things. We've got little bits of cheesy crackers. I think there's some up there too I need to grab. So there's a hodgepodge of stuff. So I'll just, I'm not put it in my Franken bucket and let them tools out of the Franken bucket. They'll think that's really super cool. That'll be good. Mm -hmm. I should probably make a Frankenstein game for math or something. That'll be cute. Because I have. I think I have four or five of those. These I found in the first grade closet in my stuff. So there's three here. I think I have, I either have two, I think I have one or two in my closet that I need to dig out. And I think I kind of know where it is. Maybe that's where my other little pumpkin things are, but I'm not going there today. So I'm hoping I have success at Walmart finding the little pumpkin ice trays. And if not, I'm hoping Dollar Tree has some. If this one doesn't have them, then I'll try in my town because I do have the option of two different Dollar Trees. Those tend, those tend to sell out really quickly. <clears throat> we'll just have to see. I only need three to get through this year. And then hopefully I can find the other ones for next year. <sighs> but we'll just do what we got to do. I'll figure it out. I have purple paper laminated 10 frames that I made like two summers ago. And it's like, where did I put them? But I mentioned earlier that I was on my knee scooter last year. And I wasn't able to put stuff back where I wanted it to be. So that's probably what happened with that. 
All right, I'm gonna pack up my computer into my baggie o here, and maybe there's not that much in here. It's just my, oh, my purse is in the way. That's why. All right, and then I think I can get trek it upstairs because it says it's 3:42 on my microwave. Oh, it's one minute fast, or maybe 30 seconds fast. Good enough for me. I think I'll still take my scepter and put it by the door because every stinking morning I forget and I have to run all the way back in the classroom and say, hang on, don't come in yet, wait a minute, and go get my scepter. Let me get my craps together so I'm ready for the morning. Yes, no power hour on Fridays. Yay. But we will have our PLC meeting. Whatever. I used to look forward to those because they were kind of fun, but now they're just not so fun because it's basically... What are we doing for power hour? That's kind of what it ends up being. We finally got our grade card approved though, so we can start moving on with that. So I'll be able to put the kids' names and birth dates and all that kind of stuff in, and I can start tracking which tests I've given and what they got on them, which I haven't done a whole lot, but they just may be getting a lot of X's, meaning not mastered for this quarter because they're just not progressing very quickly. Yeah, so. Alrighty, I'm going to go for now. That's a deal. I'll see you later. Well, we're sitting in the McDonald's parking lot and we had success at Dollar Tree. I was able to find some more of the pumpkin and the skull little ice silicone trays. So yeah, I'm all set for 10 frame math tomorrow. Yay! And so I'm going to let my kids probably use the candy corn, I think. And I told them we were going to do candy corn math. I'm like, do we get to eat it? I'm like, well, yeah. And they're like, yay! So super cool for that. I also was able to get the pineapple chunks that I needed. The, I'm sorry, crushed pineapple and bananas for our smoothies. I got some milk for my milk experiment and then I should have enough milk left over to do the smoothie things. Um, got, I don't know, some just random stuff. I was gonna, I totally forgot that I was going to film while I was in those stores. So sorry about that. I just, one track mind, just want to get in and out and go home. We're still not home and it's after five. It's like 5.30. So I'm ready to go home. My, I got the flu shot today. I showed you that bandaid and now, I lifted my arm earlier and I'm like, ow, my arm, why is my arm hurting? I'm like, oh, I got the flu shot. And now I'm starting to feel achy in my legs and my knees and stuff. And I'm like, oh no. Because I've heard that some people have had some reactions to it. Like just achiness, like, like if you had a mild flu. So I'm like, no, oh, let's not do that. My daughter was eating potato chips on the way home from Walmart and was like, I'm really thirsty. And I'm thinking, we're literally five minutes from home. Can you not wait five minutes to go home and get a drink? I really want a drink. I'm like, well, you have a McDonald's gift card. Use that to get a drink. And she's like, okay. But there's like a bajillion people in the drive-thru because it's like supper time. And there's probably stuff going on tonight. I don't know, games and things. And so people are grabbing a quick supper it's not so quick when you have to sit in the drive through for 10 minutes though so she's like dang I'm just gonna go around and park well we made it home safe and sound all the cats are alive and well my husband's on his way home too we made it through McDonald's Caitlin got her drink we got home safe and now comes the process of unloading the things that we just got I left some of the things in the car that are going to go back to school except I had to leave the milk inside of course but the fruit and the little silicone ice trays are in the car, ready to go. And now begins the process of preparing everything for tomorrow and figuring out what I'm going to wear and getting my iced coffee ready. And I've already got my lunch ready, so that's good. And then I've got to get some lesson plans made because I want to get my copies made tomorrow. That's my goal. So I'll let you know if that works out tomorrow when I talk to you at school. So I'll probably close out the vlog here so that I can start editing super early today because it's like almost quarter to six now. Socks is tickling my leg with his little nose. <laughs> Feels a little creepy and wet, but I know he's just sniffing me. Um, I was going to film the cats, what they look like when we first come home because usually Onyx will be right here on the edge of the chair. I don't think you can see that. She'll be... Um, standing there perched, waiting anxiously for us to open the door. And then uh, the other ones are right by the door, ready to dash into the pantry with us, but they moved, so that didn't happen. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go 
change into my pajamas and figure out what I'm going to wear tomorrow. I've got to look at the temperature again because I already forgot what it's supposed to be. I want to say it's going to be close to 80 tomorrow. I don't remember for sure. I'll check again. Get everything ready for tomorrow. Get my coffee ready and all that, like I already said. And uh, just kind of chill because I just have to reheat the penne pasta and the meatballs and the breadsticks. I will see you later. I hope you had a wonderful day and I'll see you in the morning. Thank you.